In this Revit tutorial, I want to talk about a couple of the modify tools that are available to us where we can um, trim and extend basically. So what I have here is just a very basic building shell and then in it uh, a few um, kind of randomly placed walls that don't really connect to anything. What I'm going to do is go to the modify tab and you'll see on the modify tab there's a panel also called modify. There are a few tools in here that we're going to find fairly helpful. You'll see that uh, although the exterior walls are connected and cleaned up nicely at the corners, um, the interior ones are just kind of floating. Well, if I actually wanted these to be solid rooms, what I'll need to do is extend the walls. Now, you can actually select a wall, grab the uh, grip at the end, and do that manually. Uh, and when you do that, it looks perfectly fine, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to uh, control Z to undo that. Um, but you can use some of the uh, modify tools to me make that a little bit faster. On the modify panel, we have uh, the option to trim extend a single element or multiple elements, the button right next to it. Well, in this case, if I have these three walls that I would like to extend out to the exterior wall, I might choose the Trim Extend Multiple Elements. Then what I'm going to do is pick the element that is stationary, that's not moving, that'll be this exterior wall, and then I will pick the elements that are going to extend into it. When I hover over this wall, you'll see that very faint dotted blue line. When I click, it will fuse that with that exterior wall and join it up really nicely. And because I picked the Trim Extend Multiple, I don't have to go back and pick the tool each time. It will actually do it uh, for me, so I can do several walls at once. Okay, so now those walls are joining nicely. Now I have this interior wall that's going horizontally. Uh, if I wanted to move that up, I could certainly come up and grab the Move tool in the Modify menu, but if I just click on the wall and hover over it, that tool activates automatically. So perhaps I wanted to move this wall up here, something like that. Okay, now what I could do is use perhaps the extend single element, pick this exterior wall, and that horizontal line to get that one to line up, and then I'll pick it again, pick this exterior wall, and this horizontal wall, and now those are all joining nicely. Then I could pick the Trim Extend Multiple Elements, although you could certainly use the single one. Uh, and then I will pick this wall and join this one, and this one. And then finally, I have this um, corner right here. If I want this to just um, end, I can, of course, grab that gripper and bring it up. That will work and it'll join just like the rest. Or I could use a uh, Trim Extend Single Element, click this line and this one, just like we did before, and it'll clean it up as well. So it's essentially trimming off that extra part of the line. And now we have uh, the four office spaces or whatever it might be where all of the walls are joined together very neatly. Um, if, for example, we wanted to do um, maybe where there's three closed rooms and one open space, that's where we might come in and use uh, another tool in the Modify panel called Trim Extend to Corner. When you pick this tool, what you need to do are pick the two lines that uh, you want to keep. So if I wanted to keep this wall and then this wall right here, but essentially open this space up, if I click on the two parts that I want to keep, it will actually cut the rest of that corner off. If uh, I wanted to make that a little more obvious, what I'm going to do is just draw a couple of walls just out in the room. So they're just crossing each other. So when you use the modify tool of trim extend to corner, you click on the two walls that you want to keep and the other two will disappear. So for example, if I click here and here, I will get rid of these two lines. 
So I'll click here and here, and it got rid of that extra um, geometry outside. If I undo that and click here, for example, and here, it will get rid of the other remaining corners. So it's a very handy tool. It works not only with walls, but when you're working with sketch-based elements and lines and that type of thing. Once again, that can be extremely useful.